Hello, this is Miss Roll with our force notes. So for this notes video, our learning target is I can define force, net force, balanced force, and unbalanced forces. So first of all, what is a force? These are all examples of forces. So a force is a push or a pull on an object, which you can see happening in all of these GIFs. The unit of force is called a Newton, and we abbreviate it with a capital N. Here are some examples. So pushing a shopping cart is applying a force. Writing with your pencil is applying a force. And kicking a ball, also applying a force. Finally, pulling a suitcase, like our lovely dog here in the GIF. So what are the types of forces? Because there are specific types that we're gonna talk about. So first of all, forces always occur in pairs, right? They've always got like an opposite. Our types of forces, we have an applied force, and that's a push or a pull. We have gravity force, right? Which is the pull down towards earth, right? You're familiar with gravity. We have the normal force, and this is the opposite of gravity. It's basically the reason you don't fall through the ground, if that makes sense. And finally, the friction force, which is the opposite of your applied force. So if I'm pulling something this way, my friction force is going that way. It's always the opposite of the applied force. So what is a net force? Well, net force is the sum of all forces everything acting on a particular object. So the opposite directions, you subtract those forces, right? Because they're opposite of each other. And if they're in the same direction, then we're going to add those together. Added or subtracted forces give you the net force or the overall force. If the net force is zero, then there's no change in motion or no motion at all. Okay, if net force is zero, there's no change in the motion or no motion at all. If the net force is not zero, then there's definitely motion. So if it's anything other than zero, we're gonna have motion. All forces can be represented with as arrows, like you see in this picture here. And the bigger the arrow, the bigger a force is. This is kind of just how we start to draw a picture to understand our forces. So what are balanced and unbalanced forces? Balanced forces means there is no motion or moving at a constant speed. Okay, balanced forces, there's no motion or it's moving at a constant speed. That speed's not changing. So the net force in that case would be zero. If everything's balanced, that means any opposing forces there are are the same as each other, so they'd cancel out. Unbalanced forces is when one force is stronger than another, resulting in a change in motion. So if you ever like pushed on a really heavy box and for a second it doesn't move and then it finally moves, right? For a little bit there, your forces were balanced, but finally you unbalanced that force and made it move. And in an unbalanced force situation, that net force is not zero. So we have an example with our cat and the can of Coke. It was a balanced force when it was just sitting there. And then as soon as the cat hit it, it is no longer balanced. It is unbalanced um, because it added some force there. Okay, so let's look at these examples. So first of all, pencil moving on paper, is it balanced or unbalanced? Well, this is going to be an unbalanced force because we have motion of that pencil, right? It's moving back and forth. And now is the net force zero or is it not zero? And since this is an unbalanced force, we're going to have a net force that is not zero. So something other than zero. Finally, if it's unbalanced, which this one is, which direction is the change in motion? Now this pencil kind of goes back and forth. So I would say it's in the direction the pencil's moving. That's the direction of our change in motion. Example two, same questions. We've got books sitting on a table. 
Is this balanced or unbalanced? Well, they're not moving, so we conclude it's, un or it's excuse me, it's balanced forces, right? Everything in, in different directions is all balanced. Net force, is it going to be zero or not zero? Again, since it's not moving, we have balanced forces. Our net force is going to be zero. And we can skip number three since this is balanced forces. Last example, our dog pulling a suitcase, is this balanced or unbalanced? So this is an unbalanced force since the dog is moving and it's moving that suitcase. So now is our net force zero or not zero? Our net force is not zero, right? Because our dog is moving that suitcase. So we've got uh, a net force kind of going with that. And then three, since this is unbalanced, which direction is the change in motion? You can either say to the left or the direction the dog's moving. All right, and that is it for our force notes. I hope you have a fabulous day.